Here are the new system changes that have been implemented for the Fox Techie loading. To start, let's first set up the account. To do this, open Chrome or any browser, then log in to your account on the online portal. If you've already set up your account for the new system changes, you can skip this part and move on to the next section, which is how to log in your account. If you haven't, you'll need to fill out this form after logging into your account. This process is mandatory to secure your account. Please fill out the form with necessary details, including your name, address, phone number, and password. Since I haven't set up the password for this account yet, I'll need to create one. Once you're done, tap on Submit. Then you will see these instructions, which are for setting up your time-based OTP. As seen here, the first step will be to download and install Google Authenticator. For the second step, you have two options. Option 1, use the Google Authenticator app to scan this QR code. Option 2, manually input these details into the Google Authenticator app. Choose option 2 if you can't scan the code because you're using the same phone. Let's go through these options. Open your Google Authenticator app and make sure you're logged into your Google account. For option 1, click the plus icon in the bottom corner of the screen, then select Scan a QR Code. Alternatively, you can click the Add a Code button, then select Scan a QR Code. After selecting Scan QR Code, point your camera at the generated QR code and ensure it fits within the on-screen box. After scanning the QR code, you will now be able to see the OTP on your Google Authenticator app. But before we proceed, let us first try out option 2. If you can complete option 1, then you don't need to use option 2 and you can just proceed with the account setup. But for those who can't complete the account setup using option 1, you'll need to set up your account using option 2. For option 2, you'll need to manually input these details into your Google Authenticator app to complete the account setup. On your Authenticator app, tap the plus icon at the bottom right corner of your screen or select the Add a Code button. Both options are essentially the same. Then, choose Enter a Setup Key. As you can see here, you'll need to enter these account details in their corresponding fields. Enter the account name, followed by the key provided in the instructions, and ensure that the type of key is set as time-based. Please double-check the details before clicking Add. Once you're done, you'll now be able to see the OTP on your Google Authenticator app. Make sure to enter this OTP before the timer runs out, as shown here. If the timer expires, the OTP will no longer be valid. A new one will be automatically generated when the timer expires. You can long press this area to automatically copy the OTP. Then, either paste the OTP here or type it in manually. Then click on the Verify button after entering the time-based OTP. If you've reached this part, congratulations, you have successfully set up your account. From now on, the security of your account will be significantly enhanced. Every time you log in, you'll need to enter an OTP in addition to your password. While this adds an extra step to accessing your account, it also greatly helps in preventing account hacking and ensures that your funds remain safe and secure. Please take a picture or screenshot of these backup and recovery codes. You can use these codes when you try to log in your account to the online portal. However, please remember to use these backup and recovery codes only as a last resort. They should be utilized only if you cannot access your phone for Google Authenticator, such as when it's unavailable, unusable, or if you lost your phone and Google account. If you use all of these codes, you won't get any more backup and recovery codes. When that happens, you will now have to contact support. Remember, only use these codes for logging in as a last option, as you won't get any additional backup and recovery codes. Now, I'll demonstrate the new way to log in to your account. Just like before, navigate to the online portal, enter your trusted number, then tap login. Next, you'll need to enter your password. Then, you'll need to enter the OTP to proceed. 
You'll have to open your Google Authenticator app to get the time-based OTP as you'll no longer receive OTPs via SMS. As you can see here, the time-based OTPs are only available for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, the OTP will expire and can no longer be used to log in to your account. Every 30 seconds, a new OTP will be generated automatically. But you'll only receive OTPs if you've linked your account with your Google Authenticator app. If you haven't set up your account yet, please follow the account setup guide. To continue, simply long press this area to automatically copy the OTP. Then paste it or you can just type it manually. Click login and you should now have access to your account. And now, this is how you can link your account to Messenger. After logging into your account on the online portal, you can link your account to Messenger by clicking on your profile, then selecting account settings. Then scroll down till you reach the extra eloading channels section and then click the checkbox for messenger channel. Afterward, a pop-up containing the steps and instructions will appear. Let's go through these steps one by one. Here, you'll notice that you need to send this authentication token to our messenger bot. Simply click on this icon to automatically copy the authentication token. Click on this link to be directed to our official messenger. If the link doesn't work for you, open your messenger app and type the Fox deck on the search bar. Then tap on the Fox deck. Once you're here, simply paste the authentication token. Long press here until the paste option appears, then tap on it. Finally, hit send. Next, you will receive an OTP code. Please enter the OTP you received here or simply copy and paste it, then hit send. If you receive this reply, congratulations. Your e-loading machine has been successfully linked to your messenger. Now, let's try to process a load transaction using messenger. As you can see here, we've also received instructions or tips on how to process a load using messenger. Please follow the format you see here. We simply need to type the recipient's number, followed by a space, and then the amount. Hit send and the transaction will be processed immediately. You'll receive this message if the transaction fails. Let's try again following the same format. Enter the 11 digit number, followed by a space, then enter the amount, and finally hit send. Once you receive this message, it indicates that the transaction was successful. Thank you for watching. We hope this video helped you navigate through the recent system changes. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more guides and tips. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or contact our support team.